G'day folks, uh, I figured I'd do a quick little update on these uh, plasmas that I'm playing with. Uh, yeah, they're both the same internally as i found. Uh, just going through possible cause of failure and disconnecting the uh, X main buffer uh, settles the power supply down uh, before it makes surging noises. You can hear it chirping and carrying on. Um, but with it disconnected it ran okay. Like, the panel didn't do anything but it wasn't carrying on like it used to. Uh, and this board's out of that TV as well. I have been switching. I did switch that first and the volt's the same so the power supply is probably both still fine. But there's a problem in one of these uh, buffer boards. Half inclined to think it's that one because of the way it behaved but I'll also do some more testing and try unplugging the uh, Y sustain. Uh, these ones don't seem to have a Z sustain board. They've got the buffers at the bo side and bottom but there doesn't appear to be a Z sustain unless it's built in partially to this one because that's uh, 42SD, S4.0, Y main, um, that's X main, there's a digital board behind this but no other no other um, buffer board. So they're pretty straightforward but it's just a matter of finding out which one's short. I'm thinking the best course of action would just be to buy a second hand board off eBay. I would like to get one of these two going, I don't really care about both having both working but just for the sake of it get one going and uh, see what happens. So I'll swap the board out of this one but pretty sure they're both exactly the same fault. Um, if the fault from that set shows up on this one then yeah definitely. Uh, if it doesn't well who knows we go a few different different candidates maybe swap that board out and if that fails well who cares just throw the things out. For all we know maybe these could be fried the bottom ones and again I've gone through my in inventory of plasma boards and again they're all completely different so yet another different revision of plasma or L uh, Samsung SDI uh, PDP module so they're all yeah, all different again which is a bit of a pain but oh well, what do you do also got a nice mixture of caps some good brands some cheaper stuff I think this was about 25 bucks for the whole bundle and the rest of it was about 12 uh, some good niche cons this was just a bulk pack uh, 200 different caps from Benny International on eBay. Uh, the whole lot was about 40 bucks shipped, and it's cheaper than and quick quicker shipping than uh, RS components. So it's some Nichicon thousands. Sam was yeah, they'll do the job for cheap experiments and things. Save save me good quality ones for LCDs. Uh, speed pots for the uh, variable frequency drive. It doesn't have one on the front panel. It's a nice big 35 one thousands. Nippon Chemicon. Yeah, lots of good stuff. Lots and lots of it. So we'll go through that later and uh, I'll put everything into inventory and uh, go from there. It'll be good to get some more repairs underway. I've got a couple more monitors to look at. Uh, another LCD television. Yeah, it's good stuff. The plasmas, well, yeah, I guess most people would say these aren't worth messing around with, especially since this one's been out in the weather. So it'll probably be the parts unit if any of it's still good. Like it does try and start up, it's not a bad thing. But they've both been out in the weather. There's rust on the tuna can and that sort of thing. So who cares? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't mind spending 40, 50 bucks to try. But that's about the limit of it. I'm not going to go into too much expense just to make a generic standard SD panel work again. Anyway. Hope everyone has a great day. It is lovely roasty warm today. It's going to be 32 or something tomorrow. It's really nice. I know people hate it when I brag about it, but in the shade it's almost 30. So it's doing pretty well. And I got my mate's uh, freezer or caravan fridge racks to clean, electrolytically de-rust. And then they'll be uh, fully dried, baked and powder coated. I'm not doing the powder coating, but a local shop will do that. So that's good, very good. You gotta love electrolysis. Set and forget. It's not like sandblasting where you gotta stand there all day and bloody blast every surface and miss spots and just go again. And nah, once you've done electrolysis, you just rub it down with Scotch Bright and hot water, and away you go. Dry it out, bake it if it's tempered steel. Get a bit of hydrogen out of it, and then paint it. I don't know if it's still a myth, the old hydrogen embrittlement thing. I've never done a test, so yeah, maybe something for future. 
Anyway, enough rambling. More plasmas to play with. Lots of them. There's even more on the roadside up where these came from, but I don't know, you got to draw the line somewhere. It's up in Jay's area, so if he picks them up, he picks them up. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I don't really mind. 